Hello everyone, and welcome back to the skull. We're just about to see, or read, yeah, see what uh, Nico has to say from us logging off from the last one. I'm back. I don't think anyone else is noticing it either. Am I the only one who's seeing this? You mean, like what you said last time? The darkness? Let's see, what was the last thing we left off at? We're going to... We got the soil. We don't have a button yet. I wonder, did we actually go down this way? Maybe not. I don't recall. Well, we found the bed. Books? Pots. Well, at least we know where the bed is, so after this episode is ending, we'll probably um, have Nico go to bed. Let's see. What do we got? Magnets. Metal can. Weird film. Oh no! Will we not be able to go back to the, um... To the... The Glen? No, not the Glen. The... The Barons! To give the, the Warden back her... Uh, her charm. Her necklace. Hopefully we get to see her again, because she was... I, if I was correct on this, she was going to... Uh, she was stationed there for a while, not permanently. Barons. Nope, that doesn't work. Um, I I found in the Barons written in unknown language. How do I use it though? I couldn't use the weird film on it. And a little can says coffee grounds. Just just gonna try this. Hmm. <clears throat> if it's been ripped out, how come there aren't any broken wires inside in the empty slot? <clears throat> well, I'm no engineer, but it's powered by some kind of magnetic technology. I know this much. These don't stick to aluminum. Well, I was just gonna select them, sorry. I'm losing so much time. I'm not even time I'm timing it anymore. I hate this. That man said something about magnets, but I don't see any way to fit these in the panel by themselves. I can't combine these. Maybe we can make a button out of this. I can cut a piece out of the can and fold it into the rectangle shape. Just like arts and crafts. Hmm. I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. How are we going to connect it to the elevator? Well, let's find out. The magnets don't stick to the aluminum, but... Oh, wait! What if I just folded the magnets under the edge? Hmm. It's holding together, if just barely. I hope it's good enough. Hopefully. If not, then we will try to find a gluing substance. Oh, nice. Are those magnets? Looks like they're a bit loose, but... Ah, well. Go see if it works. Alright. Let's hope this works. The button fits snugly, and I think I hear the magnet machine powering on. Mm. The button's completely falling apart. Hey, you tried. Oh well. It's, it's the thought that counts. Oh, 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 
Oh, oh! I know! Okay, which direction? Which direction? I'm not sure if it was this direction. I think it was up here. Remember that table that had the, uh... The... S stapler and tape? Let's try that! I just got that, and, uh... And it's this way, right? Yes, it is! Here we go! A tape dispenser. Oh! I could hold it together with tape! I should have done this in the first place. Hey, we live and learn! We always do. We always live and learn. Taped button. The magnets are secured with tape. Charge! <laughs> Alright man, let's see if it works this time. If not, maybe a stapler, because it's, it's both of them, but the tape, the tape dispenser was the one that was shining. Alright, let's try this again. I hope this works. It should. Everything went quiet to, to give you the moment. This is all you, Nico. This is your moment. Reactivating elevator surfaces. Please input security code to continue. What? That's never happened before. It's the squares. Huh? You saw them, right? They were on the door and... Oh, nah. The square stuff happens all the time. I mean, the whole security code thing. But then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Hmm... I guess we should go look for a code, Azure. Alright, so... Where would we find... Hidden phone numbers. We need to find a spot. I guess we need to find a spot that would have the, um... That have numbers on it. I'm gonna go check back on the seat really quickly to see if anything happened. No. Gotten some dirt and water. But is that enough? Oh! Light! Okay, I guess it was a try. These plants need sunlight too. Don't you feel like a sense of accomplishment whenever you feel like you just got something? Like, I was going, coffee grounds, the ground button, ground button. We got scissors, we can cut it up. Magnets, it required magnets things. You can fold inside, yeah, it was a little loose, but, uh. And then I found it, I remember, remember I called, the tape dispenser. All right, so, um, where to go? Oh wait, this is where we got in the first place. Having me a set on the wall. There's a small screen here in the middle. A piece of metal set into the wall. Okay. Do I just use it on the same screen? Is that what I do? Figures. Hey, no, don't believe you're just smart. Besides, I just clicked on you because I'm wondering if I had to come back. But at least the creator allowed us to. Uh, if we're stumped, they'll. Uh, it gives us tips and hints to find something. That's nice of them. Though it kind of insult, uh, humiliates you. Want another tip? I kind of don't want to because it's considered taking the easy route. So I won't this time. If it, ever, if it comes down to it, then I will. Fine. Keep at it. It's not like I'm going anywhere. Leave me alone. Let's see. Do 
Do I just hold it up at some places? Because I don't, like, use it as an item on a thing. Some kind of computer terminal. I need the power room for me. I can't make. Oh, okay. Do you know anything about an elevator code? Elevator code. Command not recognized. Well, worth a shot. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Alright. The hunt is still on. I, I see him around a lot, but he never seems to have time to eat a proper meal. He kind of just rushes in here, drinks a whole lot, a whole pot of coffee, and then rushes back out. He, uh... He really takes his job to the extreme. I mean, it's an important job, but nothing is worth that amount of stress, I think. What does he do? Maintenance, I believe. Something about... Uh, something to do with the lights, but I don't know the details. Maybe you can ask him later. Some things uh, in puzzle games like this would stick out a little bit more, but some things such as the tape was like you saw it. At least I'm, I'm talking about myself, and then you uh, might have forgotten about a bit of it, and then you come back to it and go. So, I'm struggling to figure out, was there anything we saw that um, stood out to be for the uh, the film thing? A photograph of the mines. There are many robots at, at work in the photo, extracting large deposits of ore. Hey, there's a trash can, I think. Just a trash can. Alright, might as well check. A pile of large books. Man, the carpet's so, so nice that you don't hear any footsteps. Sorry guys, I, I searched around for a, a good five, ten minutes, maybe. I'm not gonna lie, probably more about five minutes, but I checked every spot that we could. I couldn't go backwards, uh, back through the elevator we, or the stairwell we took to get to, get to here, and nothing stood out. Or the things that I clicked on didn't have any other things. So even though it is humiliating that I, I like solving puzzles. Sometimes the puzzles just get a little too hard. And I'm not saying I'm wimping out. I, I really... This is why I'm getting deflated. I don't want to wimp out, but... Just so the video can progress. Forgive me, guys. There's a void beyond the four walls that bind our world to yours. The edges of your viewport where everything is obscure. And our world is yours. Beyond the four walls, probably the game screen, that bind our world to yours. The edges of your viewport, where everything is obscure. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Probably, but not really, and it's still vague. Pass the film through the void and back again. I'm able to see it on screen, so I'm guessing I need to do something. What do they do? 
to look at numbers like that. I normally see that in the past where they had like a red card and then when it's a jumble of things the, the main message is hidden underneath it and the red card does that but like is there something in the folders? Okay, I know the games are like this are uh, pretty cool where they and bring their game into the real world and, and onto your computer somewhere. But that's the kind of puzzle that um, is a little tougher for me. I know that I'm not putting a whole lot of effort into it, so that's what's slapping me in my own face. But I really don't know what to do. I'll take the insult. I'll take the what you're saying. You are testing my patience. Well, I know you're giving me hints, Mr. Creator. But... Not everyone has the same smarts and puzzle fixings as you do. Do you want the answer? <laughs> I want to figure it out. But you didn't give me, personally, enough for me to figure it out. If you guys figured it out and are looking at me in whatever ways you do, I don't want to be putting that on you guys. I know some YouTubers do that. And I don't want to do that. I'm, I want to be... I'm fair for everyone. I want to be fair for everyone. I know I have my own opinions, but I let everyone... Yeah, pretty much. Everyone be them. So yeah, for progression. When you view the film... When you view the film... When you view the film, it fills your entire window onto your world. Yes. I believe you refer to the action I described as dragging. The view is beyond the borders of your view. Through the world and back again. I think I got it this time. Though because I am um, recording uh, by cropping out the game thing, we have to reposition it in the cropping, which of course you guys won't notice very much. But let's do this. I think I got what it meant. Clever creator. But, as I said, not everyone is as clever to figure things like that out. I had to move the game screen off my main monitor sc screen, so it's, you drag it off screen, and then back in. So into the void, which is pretty much off screen. Very clever, very riddle-ish. But... <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, if you if any of you are along with me going how would I have known that so again creator I'm not saying the creator knows about this I'm just speaking into the void this way unless the creator ever does come across this video but of course I said too there's many uh, youtubers out there that are playing this game too so if you ever spot someone on mine then whatever uh, then well then hello <laughs> but yeah not everyone is as clever so for your in-game character to humiliate us going, I told you to do this. And from the last thing you just mentioned to give me that clue, I'm glad I was smart enough to figure that out. But if someone didn't find out, they'd probably look online for the answer for someone who is clever enough. There's always going to be a way because there's someone out there that knows the answer. Including the person himself. And if the person himself that created this game put the hints and tips and answers on their own site, if I have a site that I, I didn't notice, then, yeah. Stop humiliating people that aren't as smart. Please. <laughs> Alright, now that we got the answer, I'll, I'll stop that rant. <laughs> 63014.
I still feel humiliated, and... It is clever. It was very clever. And heck, good programming, too, for having that done. Now... One second! <laughs> Six three zero one four. Six three zero one four. What? It works? I don't know what you did, but it actually works. Um, good job, kid. You're a genius. You know that? Well, I had help from Azure, too. Yeah, and I just got humiliated by the creator! <laughs> but still, good job, creator. Very clever. And for riddle solvers and puzzle solvers, uh, unite! <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't figure it out. I, that's. I shouldn't feel deflated too much. Because not everyone has that same mind. Oh, right. The whole Messiah business. Anyway, ready to go? I'll be up ahead. Alright. Well, I got the feather. And two. Thing is, now this is open, when will... will... Will we be able to come back up? Because, as far as I know, that we can't, uh, we don't usually get to go backtracking. And and when uh, we'll be able to come back here to see um, the the Colonel grow back into uh, uh, what's her name? All right, so actually, man, I gotta keep, I gotta stop forgetting this. I kept walking around the place. I know it's fast travel when you're outside. So if I'm at the cafe, I can't really fast travel as far as I know. But yeah, I gotta remember I can fast travel. All right, let's continue forward. <sighs> I'm having a trouble trying to stay awake, Azure. We should find a place for me to take a nap. Well, I usually like to keep these videos going on, on like, like, I want to be like you know, some other Let's Players I've seen that make like a series go on for a while, for a good half hour or something. But this kind of this game kind of, before you progress, they give you a dream for the next game. So I could, I could go to sleep and then jump back on, but it kind of doesn't fit the mood, I guess, at least in my mind. So pretty much all I got to do in this episode was fix the button, get humiliated by the, uh, the developer of this game, and see a really interesting uh, functionality. Alright, Nico. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Sure, Nico. So, I guess I'll leave it here and continue it again in another one. So maybe, even though it does take a long time to get to this kind of point, I kind of think, nah, I'll still do it the way I do. Because it felt like I was just, I mean, is this video 20 minutes right now? Still a decent video, but like, a good portion of it is me walking around and trying to figure out that puzzle. But yeah, so I guess I'll leave it here and until I see you guys again, have a great day everyone. And good night, Nico.